Overkill, man. Back inside the river we go now. Yo, Paj. Tries to run the non over. Meanwhile, the Boke almost solo kills a bang. Bob, 13 health currently with a run over the top. Yo, Paj. Find another kill for the boys. Oh, he's hiding. And now they're going to be able to catch up the Shanks as well. Great positioning out of the Ember Spirit. Ducking behind the trees. A double kill secured early on. And the defensive magnetize used there to hold them back. Bob's still going to hunt for the kill. The slide spam with Orbit Crew. Got the kick. Starting to really ramp up here, Bob. Kick on the Yopaj, not enough. And now with Baboka here, it's going to be another death three. Oh. Shanks will get a nice snipe. And it looks like X Nova lives on 50 health. But now Baboka's here for the cleanup. There's nothing a Bang's going to be able to do. We'll chuck out a Nature's Grass. But it just only be the trollers. Pop lane again. Looking to continue to put the pressure onto Palace's lane. Another dual victory as soon as it's back up. Now, Shanks is going to have the Bedlam to work with. Chucks it over towards Palos, who's continued to hunt down WS, but they're splitting their attention onto two members. They'll at least be able to go back. And that is a streak. Palos for... Everything. And if it's not him, it's his team. Oh, Palos top lane. Oh, he's in a lot of danger now. Battle trying oh, to suck him out of the town. That ulti is not the play. Dude, this is the one person you would, you would be hoping. I got the kill. You'll be able to get them over the finish line. And he got the kill, man, but he can't be dying. You cannot have your troll dying like this. If you Try and slow down Tino's gain. Like we were saying, has been able to pick up on farm. Flawless performance. Oh, they could get trolled. Maybe they want to invade into the triangle. Palos. Static storm. Straight dropped on the dome. Shank's going to do whatever he can. They'll commit the lasso as well to guarantee the kill. Is Execration even going to rotate Bob over? Roll will just be short. And that'll buy enough time for Boom to back off to their half of the map. It's come in from, uh, from Boom. And the map's going to be so difficult to play. Especially this T1 tower is going to go down pretty shortly. A bang. I thought your Paj and Bob are going at it. Yeah, the slight spam. Oh, nice glimpse timing, X Nova! Oh, beautifully done. Before the roll, just gets the ultimate off. And now WS as well, he'll be chased down. That is a much needed kill for Palos, and no one else is nearby to be able to get that finishing blow. Oh, that's so huge. That actually allows him to come back a bit here. He's trying for a kill on Ember as well with the combo. Whoa. Bedlam. Whoa. Oh my lord. Dying to two supports, Yopash. And you can now start to heal up that T1 tower, which I thought wasn't going to happen with the low point. Oh, the glimpse. Armor. Shanks in trouble. Shanks. Gonna, nice injection of gold. Gonna be given over towards Natsumi. Should still be able to chase him down with the Thunderstrike slow. And there we go. Earlier, and I was not a fan of that build on Anaga in previous series. And actually, Disruptor no. gets the glimpse here on Tino. He's just gonna die. We see the damage output from Naga just shredding into... To find a pathway down to bottom. They're gonna jump mid instead. Deep under the woods of tier 2 tower. There's nothing for Boom to fear. Palo's gonna try and TP in, but the instant response out of the Orchid is not gonna be able to dispel it, nor get the battle trance off in time. A secondary big kill for Boom, and only WS is gonna be the casualty, but Boca will step maybe a little bit too far forward, but Shanks, he's already used his spells. He still has Lasso. Growth. Maybe waiting for Tino to come over, but as soon as they see Tino, dude, they're just gonna go to the Visage. What will stop them from going for the third core? Is it? They got Glimpse too. They continue to bleed numbers one by one. They run into the meat grinder as boom. Like, this is this is looking rough. I just think Execration haven't played towards the strength of their lineup. Another kill. It is another kill, man. They're, they're lost right now. It is oh, they're not even done. Well, smoke to the front of the T2 tower. Bang's got a great position. That's a duel. Stop this. But it doesn't matter if it's a support. It's going to be a dual victor for WS. Uh, Yules is important for him. Oh, we kicked him away. I don't think it's going to matter. Maybe. Yopaj is here with a really nice chain onto two, but Palace is going to be able to enter the fight. Blade Melt does do a decent chunk of damage into Execration. They're going to get behind them. The glimpse. Palos held inside the wall. And like you said, with the backstab from Natsumi, this is a perfect goal for the Naga Siren just to tear apart some of the support. It's, it's a one for two. But they can song to go back in if they really. Yopage is lacking potentially some mana to work with, but Boka's going to be able oh, they're stacked. to the lasso and just puts food directly on the plate for Natsumi right in front of his face. Oh. Has to be very careful. Sumi. He could song, they're all clumped up. This could be devastating. Oh, they dueled him. We get the jump in first. Oh, that's so good. Troll WS. 
I'm in mean, the primary target. You couldn't ask for a better initiation, especially with the Blade Mail, man. That is just a perfect way for them to start. And they're going to be rewarded with a couple of supports as well, giving over some freebies. This is just all booming. I mean, you should have an idea. The, the yeah. neutral creep used the hurricane. You would, you would only know that if someone else is nearby. Yeah. And now, well, he's going to get confirmation that there was a person here. It's going to be Opage and X Nova. And they should easily be able to go through the passive and then shortly go through his health pool as well. Bottom lane, they are contesting Roche. I don't think it's really going to matter with the lead that Boom have and not when Bob is in no man's land. I feel, but this game, I don't know if they have used Visage at all in that way. He's just farming. Only thing you can do is try to play around a lane that is active and strong. And Visage is the only one. Troll was wanting to farm. Now Visage again. Can I get caught out here? His team is close though. That they are, but I mean, what are they going to be able to do? Troll's going to try and hunt the back line. An instant lasso puts Palos down into his place. Shul's going to continue to stall it out as well. As your punch will assassinate a bang off for the right side of the fight. Now back to Palos we go, but he just can't lock onto Pat Rider. <laughs> <laughs> but Polk has a BKB, man. Dude, this is just devastating. Tino won't even be able to escape as well. The glimpse from X Nova stops him at the buzzer. They kill no one again. Uh, what went wrong and what they can do in the next series already, because coming back from this is going to be near impossible. They have a gem? How did they read that? Excuse me? I think you walked close enough. They, they had a sentry on the high ground, right? Uh, some creeps to get towards his BKB, so this is not completed. He's also got another item. They, I believe, got a glimpse of Palos taping back. But Boca tries to jump in. Oh, uh, oh. he's going to glimpse him away. No. He, cool. He could BKB to stay, but then he doesn't have BKB for fighting. So he's just out the wraparound play now. They're smoking around together with a visage over on the side of Willow. It, it's a... They're going to pincer from either side. Looks like Bob's going from the north. Smoke does pop. And now it means he's just completely isolated from the team. He can pop his first round of the BKB, but that's where the Jewel's going to be able to come into play as well. Can they get in front of him? Nice body block out of WS and Yopai. So get the kill onto Bob. Off to the other side, Tino is able to get rid of X Nova. So finally, kill goes the way of X Accretion. But it looks like it's a little bit too late, unfortunate for them. Natsumi's holding the troll inside the base. So again, this means that Tino has no one else to play with. This is just an absolute masterclass performance from Boom. Yeah, top lane is the impressive part to me. Because that was the one lane I didn't think they had an edge. And the way they manipulated Creep Wave, the way they pulled it, and how cleanly they executed on it, helped them actually get a good start against the troll even. This is the final racks. Go for it. Bob's going to try and make the attempt, but the Magnetize, they'll get a buyback out of Tino as well. Or attention on the Yopage. He is out. But a beautiful slide timing. And now he's even going to go back in with a Remnant. Doesn't have too much mana to work with. Bob, duel. Bob, another duel victory up to 170 now. Ooh, that is a lot of dual damage in 28 minutes, man. This Legion is basically getting dual damage off cooldown. Now they're going in, dropping some sentries. Dude, Xnova has Scepter as well. <laughs> All right. No BKB for you. To work with on Troll. And yeah, finally they're going to call it. Uh, this is just... This is not the execration we were coming to expect in this series in particular. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board because Boom just uh, dismantled them. What a, what a game one performance for them in this little bracket series. Maybach.